What's up folks here with some Destiny 2 Forsaken and wanted to talk about a quest that's been going on that some of you may know about and then others may not know about. I know I didn't. I kind of saw it but I really didn't care too much about it but apparently it's heavily rumored to be the Thunderlord exotic quest. The Thunderlord was the heavy machine gun back from Destiny 1 and this is apparently heavily rumored to be how you get it but the quest has been time gated so I had to go ahead and do part 1 from last week and part 2 of this week. And this is pretty much how you do it. You just go ahead and go to Amanda Holiday for part one. She gives you this uh, this Journal of the Reef Cryptarch quest step. This quest step number one, when you check it out, it tells you to go ahead and get from Legendary and Exotic Ingrams, you're gonna be getting uh, these possessions, right? These journals of Master Ives. All you really gotta do though is go to the Cryptarch and decrypt some Legendary Ingrams, buy some Legendary Ingrams, decrypt them, and you see right there I'm getting Cryptarch journal pages, right? So go ahead and get 10 of those. Overall, that's what, 250 Legendary Ingrams. I hate math, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on that one. When you get your 10, you're gonna see Journal of the Reef, Cryptarch, Art, bam, your quest step's gonna be done. Go ahead and look at your new quest step. The new quest step is gonna tell you, simple enough to just go to the EDZ and do these three specific lost sectors and then collect the caches, right? Now, oddly, not oddly enough, Fortunately enough, with the patch that they had lately, you can see all the names of these uh, Lost Sectors right there when you look on your map. Thank goodness, no more like guessing which one is which. You can see them right there, Widow's Walk, Atrium, Terminus East. So next thing you do is you just go to them, kill these bosses, super simple. I mean, if you're high enough level, jump past the little enemies, pull out a shoddy, pull out your sleeper simulant, all that good stuff, to just, just kill the bosses. Just go through it, use your supers, get it out the way, super simple. Kill all these three bosses, open up the caches. Um, it's not going to tell you exactly right away when you open up your one and second caches, or your first and second caches. When you open up the third one, as you see right there, your next quest step has become available. Next thing you know, obviously go to your inventory, check out what the new quest step is. Another lost sector, this time still on the EDZ, but it's Whispered Falls. Whispered Falls happens to be in the outskirts, check out your outskirts. Go to Whispered Falls, same thing, kill the boss again, open up the cache, next step is finally revealed and what do you know though as i said earlier i might not have but if i didn't excuse me but it's time gated time gated week to week these are apparently time gated new coordinates have yet to been received the trail has once again gone cold i'm late on this part one uh, i'm doing now and part two i obviously did now as well so if you missed out on this uh, like i did these are the steps super simple like i said it took me like 20 minutes tops and that's it. Hopefully it is the Thunderlord. We're going to have to see. I'll be back with the next step uh, next week when that's revealed and open and uh, much sooner too. I'll do it, uh, well, on Thursdays. If you guys haven't checked out my new schedule that I have up Thursdays and Saturdays on my Destiny 2 videos. But that's it for this. Uh, as far as the Thunderlord, like I said, I hope it is true. Uh, so we'll see. But as for this video, that's it. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. There's always much more content on the way. And I'll see y'all later.